Hey everybody. Oh my gosh, the most amazing thing is happening right now. So this is a sassafras that Steve and I planted. And sassafras haven't done great here because we're kind of a wet site, but this one loves this spot. And I know you can already see what I am showing you. So we have had a Promethea moth cocoon on this tree all winter. And I was sitting right over here on the porch and I saw a bird come in here and I'm sorry to say I disturbed the bird. Definitely a warbler, hoping for a snack, but I got so excited I had to run over here and see. So this is a Promethea moth male. Oh my beautiful. Holy cow. I'm gonna walk around the other side. Now last year we had them on tulip poplar and there were females that emerged and Steve and I sat there and watched all these males come in and circle around and it was so cool. Look at it. So his abdomen is still quite big and he's sending those fluids out into the wings to pump up. I know the video quality isn't great. This is really hard lighting in here. But my main point with this is, if you plan it, they seriously, seriously come. I mean, this silk moth is not somebody you're gonna see every day. They need the right host plants. And that's when they do the most feeding. Adults usually don't feed, but this guy's got huge antenna. So besides the coloring, that's how I know it's a boy. He's gonna probably mate tonight. Super exciting. Pay attention to what you plant and you will be so rewarded.